Yeah, this is my favorite Agatha deck yet because it actually wins at a positive win rate with this deck. And it's all possible thanks to Iron Lad and Jubilee, which are playing off the top of your deck. Because when you construct this deck in a specific way, the top of your deck is a very specific set of cards. So look, Agatha starts in your hand, never on top of your deck. America, always on the bottom of your deck. So never on top of your deck. Quicksilver and Domino are both drawn early in the game. So never on top of your deck. What that means is you have this middle band of cards from Wave to Doctor Doom that can each be on the top of your deck. And Jubilee and Iron Lad each pulling each other also kind of pulls a card out because once they pull the other one, you kind of get the next card in line anyway. So basically you isolate these top deck plays down to Iron Man, Devil Dinosaur, Captain Marvel, Leader, and Doctor Doom these really high powered high impact five or six cost cards that are cheated out you know basically on turn four you also still have the wave in here for agatha to get played out early as well because of course the sooner you can get agatha out the better but uh sometimes jubilee or iron lad hitting wave gives you an extra way to do that in case you miss the wave this is actually another chance to just get that agatha down sooner than have the big turn six doctor doom or whatever so ultimately you're creating this kind of pipeline in the mid game where you're guaranteed more or less to get some kind of awesome play, whether that's Agatha playing the devil dinosaur itself, that's Jubilee hitting something awesome off the top of your deck. You're just creating this great lineup of plays right in a row. And it, it kind of works. <laughs> you actually win a lot of games just on the raw power of these sorts of cards. Now, of course, you should not climb with this deck. It's not going to be the sort of thing that's the great climbing deck, obviously. But if you're looking to zone out a little bit, just do some quests and you don't want to sacrifice a bunch of cubes, you might actually be able to hold uh, your cubes with this deck surprisingly well without really having to think all that much and of course if you're making a youtube video this deck can create some absolutely stupid fun games as you're about to see i think sometimes people get sad when i say like oh this card's not right for this deck when i they're, they're like interpreting me saying it's bad or it sucks or it's like their favorite card oh but regis i love that card and i'm like it sucks it's awful for this deck but it's just a deck fit problem or, or even an intention problem might be a better way to put it because clearly that might be a better way to play certain things. Maybe a Taskmaster Agatha build is always the right way to do it, but this is a different way, a fun way. I'm going to take a double gulp. All right, Iron Lad here. Uh, OK, I mean, there's some good targets there, actually. Wave would be great, honestly. We'd get our Agatha down on time. That's really cool. Elysium here doing some cool work. Oh, yes! <laughs> I called it, dude. So we probably put Devil Dino on Milano and then play for Doctor Doom, right? Oh, Electro's fine for us. I mean, I guess Galactus is something to think about, but mm, maybe not. What is this? What is this actually about? I don't know. All right, kind of a kind of a big commitment there, but they're gonna have Agatha. Oh, she's a genius. They're gonna get Agatha. Oh my God, she's a genius, dude. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So they have Agatha in hand. They have Agatha controlling their plays. Oh my God, that is so genius, dude. And she didn't even play to Milano. That's great, okay. Oh, but they, oh no, she's fine. No, she played out immediately and gave it back to me. No. <laughs> No, Agatha, you're a genius. I mean, this is a good line, though. We're ahead in, in all spots. That's fine. Hopefully this is okay. Agatha's a genius, dude. She, she loves playing the machine world. Iron Lad into... Oh, that was a wave, I guess. Yeah, Look like wave again. Higher <gasps> Ooh, that's a fun game, dude. <laughs> the triple Agatha game. You don't see three Agathas in a, in a game of Marvels that very often. Like, like I've played maybe 10 Quicksilver games in my entire life. I took him out of my early decks like immediately. <laughs> I think I replaced Quicksilver like on day one. I don't remember ever playing or buying into the Quicksilver bait. So... This is this is one of my first big forays into Domino 2, honestly. The kind of the first time I've played both of these. So guys, I don't wanna be the uh you know, I don't wanna be the 
<laughs> guys, we have a <laughs> listen. We have a almost seventy percent win rate with this deck. <laughs> it's three games, but we're gonna take it. We're we're at sixty seven percent almost. Which I'm rounding up to 70, okay, deal with it. So no wave this game, that makes us a lot weaker potentially. Uh, we could maybe hit a Jubilee or Iron Lad wave to give us one Agatha bonus turn. That would put Agatha in Milano potentially if she decides to play herself there, which would be cool, but she might not. Electro again, okay. Ooh, good for them maybe. Ah, uh, we drew the wave a turn late, so... I mean, three good targets here, honestly. Not a big problem for any of these. Chavez is big. Leader, potentially interesting. Captain Marvel, of course, pretty cool. Really what happens next turn is gonna be the more important conversation because like Iron Man is probably dead a lot of the time. Devil Dino is good if she plays Devil Dino, but if she plays Wave or Iron Lad, we might have a problem. Oh! <laughs> be Galactus, be Galactus. Oh, maybe that Galactus deck actually. <gasps> oh. What do I get here? What do I need? I need something big. Oh, that's great. Okay, now I get to play, dude. Uh. If I play wave at all, does that screw them up? They could still play a null. Um, oh, but yeah, they can't actually play to Milano even on six, so this would be fine. Maybe it's Galactus mid in this case? I don't know. Well, they're snapping about something, but yeah, it's Galactus mid, I guess. That's really risky though, because Danger Room... I don't know, man. <laughs> they're, making a, uh, they're making a bit of a, a bit of a risk here, dude. I'm gonna play it out. We gotta, we gotta see this, right? We gotta, we gotta see this in action. Do we play around Chavez? Uh, yeah, might as well. It's really just whether the Noel dies or not, I guess. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Come on, Danger Room, save me, buddy. Come on, one time. <laughs> Yes! That's the greatest! Yes! Dude! <laughs> I love their emote, dude. I, dude, that's the good on them, dude. That's the great. <laughs> dude! That's so cathartic. After all these Galactus games, that is so cathartic. <laughs> Yeah, we, we saw that in effect, right? Like our Iron Lad and Jubilee only had one, two, three, four, five, six targets, but a few of them were already in hand. So we had basically isolated the Iron Lad down to what? Maybe like three or four targets, which is the goal. Oh, that's a good little lucky. bonus early snipe on Milano. When are we gonna get Agatha to play Iron Man on Milano, guys? Not today, okay. Yondu might be Galactus. Let's keep an eye out. Perfect draw, okay. Uh, Agatha will have to go right, which is fine. Well, yeah, no, right. Can't go left. Big power right. Devil Dino goes in Milano and then Doctor Doom to finish, maybe? It's pretty good. Oh, shoot. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So the wave kind of helped them a lot. Uh, well. I mean, uh, it's a very tiny null. So it's really just Shang-Chi we have to worry about, right? It's also a really expensive death. She's five, that'd be 14. Shang-Chi would be 17. I mean, it's really Shang-Chi. Can't really beat Shang-Chi though. Captain Marvel's my best Shang-Chi play. Pass and leader? Well, they, they pretty much always, they pretty much always maintain non-priority and then finish on Shang-Chi. I, I don't, I don't think they ever, 
Shang Chi. I, I could theoretically play better around Spider Man if I played Marvel now. Yeah, I can't lead or null guys, because uh, again, I'll have I'll have priority. So Shang Chi will. Yeah, see, this plays better around Spider Man. I mean, it may not still be enough against Shang Chi, right? Well, it might be though. I don't know. Let's make him have it. I can't lead her because they just play whatever this turn and ignore spider-man right if it's just whatever a death or something I still have priority because Agatha is so big and then leader goes off and there's no space for him And then they showing chi the Agatha away and I've already missed my reveal Dino would have been bigger, but that, that's bad. I don't want it to be bigger because that gets shang chi Dino is another shang chi target. So now they shang chi they don't have enough energy to to win maybe yeah Chong Chi leaves them at eight, and we're at at uh, twelve, and they can't play a two energy, four power card. At least not in this deck. Might technically have a cloak, but that'd be a tie, I guess. Okay, uh, Quicksilver, sure. Let's go. Kitty Pride is back, dude. I didn't get a chance to play Kitty Pride in a bounce deck. I'm sad. Curious how she holds up post, uh, oh, wave here is not good if we hit it. What are the odds? Oh, we hit Domino always, duh, of course, it's fine. Not good anyway, we don't want, we don't want wave on two. Very bad news. Been seeing a lot of Zola. Yeah, I think Zola got a ton of play for the peak and then people probably were like, I love Zola, he's so much fun. And then probably just stuck to other Zola decks is my guess. Wave? Yes! Called it, dude. Yeah, she's not stacking anymore. She seemed to be stacking there for a while, but she's spreading now, which I think is better. Crazy. I didn't see that last game. How did it end? Well, wait, if you, <laughs> if you didn't see it, why do you care? <laughs> we, uh, we lost. It was an Artem Zola. Uh, they, they got lucky on their Artem Zola pop-off. They got a good Arnim Zola sequence, basically. So Iron Lad's traditionally pretty good on Stark Tower. If we think we can outscale this collector. Yeah, this Kitty Pride still seems pretty nuts, doesn't it? But do we want to just contest Milano and then just Iron Man mid? Iron Man mid susceptible to Shang-Chi. I don't know how much Shang-Chi space they have, though. Yeah, Devil Dino has felt like a good card in this deck, by the way. I was a little bit worried about hand size, but he's pretty much always 11 in this deck. Guess this is another bounce, yeah. I mean, is Hitmonkey a risk? I don't think Hitmonkey ever beats Iron Man. I think Shang-Chi is the only thing that beats Iron Man. But if you're playing Hitmonkey and no discounters, you don't have room for a Shang-Chi, right? So they're going to go for power here which Iron Man surely outscales any power add. We go to 40, they're not adding 37 power mid, I don't think. <laughs> they are honestly good for them. That's amazing if they do, they deserve it. They're, they're mapping out a big turn here, so no surprise it's taking them a minute. It's a lot of cards to play in this deck usually. I mean, the Kitty Pride is really big already, that's true, and Hitmonkey can probably get uh, I, they have a Mystique, or not Mystique, I'm Serio, pretty big. I, I could easily see them adding 20, 25 power mid. And they're probably deciding, can I add five power mid or something? You know, like, if they get to 30, can they beat whatever I play in my Agatha deck? And that's going to be like, oh, if he plays Doctor Doom, can I beat 25 sort of thing? You know, like, that, that's a pretty good... Pretty good consideration for them to make. Um, they're going for it. If they have Shang-Chi, it's simple, but they can't play that many cards with Shang-Chi, right? It's just not possible, is it? Hey, Kitty Pride's 12, dude. That's so insane. Hit Monkey's 14. Oh my God, dude. It's so close, yeah. 33 was their number, yeah. Dude, they <laughs> dude that's so insane. I got to play some bounce. That looks so fun, man. Uh, kind of crazy that they couldn't get there with a fresh 30 power ad. Uh, wild, dude. Actually wild.
<laughs> Dude, this deck's on a crazy run. <laughs> We're up to 75% win rate. Agatha's the best card at Marvel Snap, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Great hand again, by the way. Really good hands. Okay. Always lucky. It's actually probably good she stacks these up for the sake of like a potential Iron Man later. We want to have spots where Iron Man's powerful, but not like a crazy overcommitment. Because sometimes he might feel like an overcommitment, you know. This rolls into Milano. Are we in trouble at all? She plays herself right. Okay, she doesn't. That might be helpful. Give me a little bit of Milano flexibility to play on five. In case these all roll right. Or roll into Milano, I mean. Okay, Dr. Doom Patriot's a little tough. Milano mid. Ah, I feel like I really don't want to commit more to Milano. I mean, it sucks it's my last chance to play anything there. You know, an Iron Lad or Jubilee into a Marvel would be sort of cool. It's a 50-50. Iron Man would be overkill in both cases, though. I guess the Captain Marvel, though, doesn't really have to roll into Milano, does it? So maybe it's like Iron Lad right. But I also love the option of Doctor Doom as well on six. So maybe it's Iron Lad left. Hit the Iron Man. Devil Sword then leader. And the problem is they scale better off their plays than I do. Oh God, I'm out of time. In other words, like if I leader and they have some non-ability stuff, Patriot buffs theirs and it doesn't buff mine. You know what I mean? Like it leaves me unfavored uh yeah we wanted this to be iron man unfortunately we kind of got the wrong side of the 50 50 i think so they play ultron here they go to 18 uh they're getting plus three on each dude so that's another six here dr Doom would actually beat that here but it's unfortunately uh i don't know no plus eight here uh uh at 17 yeah dr Doom beats that but it doesn't win left they have uh, 8 plus eight plus 12 is 20. We only have 11. And we don't beat right with that either. Leader, uh, same problem. We're down here, so Ultron leader doesn't help either. Yeah, I think this had to be Iron Man for me to win. I don't think the the Marvel makes enough difference. I think we lose. We'll, we'll play it out for you guys. Oh, they don't actually have what I expected, so maybe, maybe there's a chance. Maybe? Oh, probably not. Bruce pretty big. Yeah. Yeah, an Iron Man would have done it, man. Really sad. This would have been 22. Just lost that 50 50 call. Had to be Iron Man or Marvel. Um. Might have been able to go harder here with like a dino, I guess. Oh, no. We needed the Doombot mid, though, didn't we? No. No, actually, we didn't end up needing the Doombot mid. So maybe could have gone dino right. I think that's a tough call, though. Doesn't feel like a powerful play to me. Feels like it loses to their most common out. So you don't want to you don't want to make a play based on hindsight. You want to make a play based on what's good. Okay. Uh, good cards in deck for Iron Lad and Jubilee currently with Iron Man, Doom, and Leader. Like the, the your opening hand kind of dictates how good your Jubilee Iron Lad is going to be. You know. Wave also just insane for us. That, that's fine. Not too much. Always lucky. Domino and Quicksilver. Domino's outfit is really weird. Very, very weird. Very weird outfit. I get this outfit also weird. Captain Marvel's outfit's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta hit intern. Sorry. Thought I did. Uh, yeah, we don't care about that. I mean, Nebula getting big is scary, but we can actually outscale it still. One big Agatha will solve a lot of those problems. Dude, Agatha has so far really consistently been playing all three of these in the exact same spots. Do we know if that's... Historically, that has not ever been a thing she cares about. Like, like, uh... Stacking, but she's done it like four times in a row. I feel like it's making me suspicious. It obviously, could still be variants, and then she plays herself in a different spot every time. 
No. Oh, no, no. She did play herself in the stack once other before, too. So maybe... Maybe she is prioritizing this? I, I don't know. Got him. Uh, obviously, Shang-Chi is a huge risk for us, always. Iron Man here is weirdly kind of okay. But Iron Lad is also pretty dang good here. It hits Leader or Doom in many scenarios. Uh... Well, no, in every scenario. What am I saying? We've isolated the deck down to two cards, so it always hits leader or doom, uh, which should be good. Doom's less good because we don't really contest Milano as effectively. Leader would be better. One time leader? One time? Nice. Okay. Problem is, I can't really win right. <laughs> uh, if they have a Shang-Chi, we're probably just dead. Um, well... This and oh, she gets there. Let's go, Agatha. Let's do it. No Shang Chi, I guess. Jubilee would have pulled two cards, which is not enough to win Mojo World, but would have shored up Milano. I don't know if that ever matters though, because how does an opponent contest Milano? Guys, this deck's not that bad so far. <laughs> like you know, it's an Agatha deck. You can't expect the world, but it's it's consistently finding victories. I really like the structure of this a lot. All right. If we get Milano and Morag, Agatha's gonna have some problems. I think we're gonna be in trouble. She's gonna she's gonna stack too much. You just lost on streak to an Agatha. Dear God. Right on time. Don't feel bad, man. We we actually have a positive win rate so far. We're we're doing some work, dude. Doing some work. Yeah, thankfully Orcus Forge uh, didn't go off for this Quicksilver because that could potentially mess us up if we had hit a wave. Unfortunately, we didn't hit a wave though. Also, unfortunately. Oh, oh my God, yes! Let's go, Agatha is gonna, <laughs> dude, them playing wave is so good for us. I love it. Now the Sentinels are fine. They can fill in some gaps later. What? Actually, what? So this always hits Iron Man. Because it either hits Jubilee or Iron Man, and, and then uh, the Jubilee hits Iron Man. The question is, is that the right play? I mean, it's really strong. It's really nice. It's, it's, uh, we're going to have nine and then 18 power. Yeah, it probably wins this Milano guaranteed. I, I think the question is, do we win Orcus Forge? But I think Dino can. I think Dino can win Orcus Forge. <laughs> yeah, fellow degenerate. Um, Jubilee cannot hit Chavez. No, they, they always hit the top guard now. That's how it's been. That's how it's been built. Chavez is now the bottom card. Okay, guys, they they changed all the text on these, right? So Chavez starts at the bottom of your deck. Draw this on turn six. So she's always at the bottom. Jubilee at the top card of your deck to this location. So unless you've shuffled your deck, Chavez will be on the bottom, which means either Jubilee or Iron Man are on the top. If either Jubilee or Iron Man are on the top, then you can't draw Chavez. So you hit Jubilee, which pulls Iron Man, who is the next top card, or you hit Iron Man because he's the top card. In either case, that's perfect. So yeah, I mean, Devil Dino here is great. They, they, they have priority too, so we just uh, we just Dino mid and win. Because Agatha starts in her opening hand, so she's never in the pool. Chavez is always in the bottom, so she's never in the pool. Quicksilver and Domino always start at the top, so they're never in the pool. So you've got an eight card pool for Iron Lad and Jubilee, which really kind of makes it a six card pool for Iron Lad and Jubilee, which, you know, hopefully makes them incredibly consistent. And that's the game plan. They become high powered cheat cards. Okay. Right on time. We love wave. I frost these are all gonna get stacked up again man and it's definitely all of them so that sucks i mean you can't really help it with bifrost here i guess not agatha's fault this time around at least <laughs> so iron lad has leader marvel jubilee iron man so really leader marvel iron man it, that's actually cool too because jubilee and, and iron lad both actually exclude themselves from the pool as well so it's really a five card pool 
you actually have a five card pool, which on turn five post wave Agatha is, is actually a three card pool. In many instances, sometimes even a two card pool because we've had multiple 50 50s, right? So crazy. They just tempoed an iron hearts. They may have a Odin to follow that up later or something. Five. They may not want to contest Milano very much though. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Odin incoming. Can I stop an Odin at all? Not really, no. I'm gonna have to win this off actual power. Can Dino just win on power left and then win on power right? Cause Agatha's so big, it's hard to know. They could have a mystique. This leaves my final turn looking really, really weak. Could maybe do this to cheat a Marvel into play. Like, if we don't think they're doing much here anyway, they might be able to play something here, though, and then buff it later with the Odin. I just don't know if we're strong enough to win right. Yeah, they do play something. So I think I'm glad the Dino's there. It's just... How many rolls is this going to be if Odin hits? It's not that many. Can't surely be enough, right? Odin's... So this always hits Marvel. Is Marvel good so that it can maybe roll left? Well, no, I just win mid for free, right? Well, yeah, unless they play like a white tiger, I guess. If it's not actually Odin, if it's like white tiger. Yeah, leader doesn't help in that case. This is technically a little better than Doctor Doom because I'm only trying to win one of these spots, not both. This always hits Marvel or Jubilee into Marvel. Oh, Gambit? Yeah, Gambit's interesting. Could be a gambit, yeah. Jubilee into Marvel. That that uh that actually helps because that gives me an extra body that's gambit. Arnim Zola, what? That's the bad order. We needed Ironheart to hit before the mystique. That's the bad order, guys. We needed the Ironheart to resolve with, with one last long cycle. They actually, they could have hit Ironheart first. It's random. It's, it's totally random sequencing. They got the dream sequence, dude. Higher, further, faster, baby. Brutal. And, and imagine too, look how close it was. If they had just missed one Mystique or Wong cycle, right? We would have been fine. As long as Ironheart wasn't last, we win this game, I think. Guys, we're six and five still with the Agatha deck and we're beating some actual powerhouse decks. It's not like we're just playing scrubs, you know, bad, terrible decks. We're playing some legit decks. I probably gotta, I, I probably gotta call it after this one for, for games, but we're gonna do a discussion or two on the, uh, the new stuff. The new stuff and one oh no actually right now i was gonna say in one minute but literally as i said at the time ticked over to midnight it is now my fourth wedding anniversary me and miss Gilda got married four no yeah four years ago four years ago today happy happy anniversary miss kelvin <laughs> i think she hears me but oh this is so sick dude this is really cool uh, I guess there's no space though, usually, right? Like... I guess they could just keep playing one, but then you, you run out of space. You can't cycle these forever, right? You're gonna run out of space. All right, good job dodging Lady Chinguila. Agatha's gonna go mid and get enormous. Agatha, play yourself mid, please. Congrats for you just oh thanks guys my birthday is next week uh take some early congrats for my birthday too yeah we're married for four but we've been together um 12 years i think yeah about 12 years 2011 i think it was so we dated for eight married for four pretty cool agatha mid agatha mid agatha mid agatha right I don't think we get big enough to win mid without Agatha, right? I think mid is just gone to us now. I almost even hate to commit a card there. 
Doctor Doom is just worse than like an Iron Man. Iron Man can't go left though. What, what? I can't really put anything left. Oh crap. I have no power plays left. Shoot. Oh dang, dude, I'm screwed left. Maybe it really is dark. Maybe, maybe, maybe Devil Dino mid's enough to win. I don't know. Maybe we just play right in mid. These these kitty prides are big though, dude. I, I don't I don't know if it is big enough to win. How big are these kitty prides? I gotta I gotta see. Uh, they're big, man. They're really big. That one's only four. Oh, they're only four right now. Oh, that one's eight though. So that one's gonna go to ten. So that would be 40. I mean, technically. Technically 11's enough, maybe? Do I ever need to stay at 13 for some reason? But I actually don't feel that confident here. It's pretty easy for them to beat 16. So I think I have to Iron Man and hope that 11's enough. Uh, it's gonna be close. I, I don't know, man. They might be able to do some weird shenanigans I'm not thinking about. Uh, this Angela, by the way, is huge too. If 10's their biggest kitty pride, what could they do to be like, they're not gonna have a bigger play than 10 with a kitty pride, are they? Yeah, Marvels don't ever move collectively, sadly. This doesn't have a lot of space for them to do that anyway, but nice, they don't have it, dude. 11's enough. Sick, that was a tough game. Uh, okay. Dude, guys, we <laughs> guys. We, I think we went seven and five with this deck through the first twelve games, which is really uh, for an egg of the deck, not bad, man. We it's not again. We were playing pretty good decks, you know. It's tough competition.